Get ready, get safe. Step 4. How to create a family communication plan for emergencies and disasters. 42% of parents don't know where to find their children in the event of a school evacuation. I'm Sarah Thompson with Save the Children, and I'm here with my friend Lily. We're partnering with Primrose Schools in a nine-step series to help you develop your personal family emergency plan. In step four, we'll help your family prepare for emergency situations by walking you through a step-by-step -step process to develop your family communication plan. Creating a plan that outlines meeting places or multiple emergency contacts and other key information will make sure that your family can stay connected in an emergency. Isn't that right, Lily? Right. Yeah. You know what a great way to practice our family communication plan is? It's a game called Leader Says. Do you want to play with me? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be the leader. Are you ready? Ready. Leader says, call your emergency contact. Good job. Leader says, look for a firefighter or police officer. You're doing a great job. Walk to your meetup location. You're right, I didn't say. Good job. Visit PrimroseSchools.com to download this worksheet and instructions for the Leader Says game to learn more about the Get Ready, Get Safe Family Plan Checklist. In the meantime, we're going to keep playing Leader Says to help practice our plan. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Leader Says, get ready. Good job. Leader Says, get safe. Are you ready? Visit PrimroseSchools.com and start the Get Ready, Get Safe Family Plan today. Mm -hmm.